different class methods can be called from trigger. This can act as an entry point in the class logic in case of any DML event. Calling methods of other classes enables code reuse, reduces the size of your triggers, and improves maintenance of your Apex code. It also allows you to use object-oriented programming. It is one of the best practice to follow and is industry standard. To demonstrate the implementation, let's first create the dependent class of which method is to be called from trigger. In the developer console, click file then click new and select Apex class. Name it email manager. Copy the code as shown from the link in the description. The email manager class is used to send email. It is included in the class example of the get started with Apex unit. The email manager class has a public method, send mail, that sends email and uses built-in messaging methods of the Apex class library. Also, this class has a private helper method, inspect results, which can't be called externally because it is private but is used only within the class more on it and later. This helper method inspects the results of the email send call and is called by send mail. Now, change the send mail method to static before and to save, press Ctrl plus S. Making the send mail method static will allow us to call the method directly with class reference and avoid creating new instance or object of email manager class. Click on file again and click new. Select Apex trigger. Enter example trigger for the trigger name, and then select contact for the S object. Click submit. Replace the default code with the following, and then modify the email address placeholder text and send mail to your email address. The trigger shows how to call a static method from a trigger. If the trigger was fired because of an insert event, the example calls the static send mail method on the email manager class. This utility method sends an email to the specified recipient and contains the number of contact records inserted. To save. Press Ctrl plus S. To test the trigger, create a contact. Click Debug the Select Open Execute Anonymous window. In the new window, add the following code. And then click Execute. In the debug log, check that the trigger was fired. Toward the end of the log, Find the debug message that was written by the utility method, debug vertical bar email sent successfully. Now check that you received an email with the body text 1 contacts were inserted. With your new trigger in place, you get an email every time you add one or more contacts. Well done you have successfully called different class method from the trigger. Which topic you want us to cover next? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more videos.